Okay, what I'm going to do now is mount the, this drawbar, which I have just threaded, into the milling machine. Um, this dividing head has a Boxford chuck on it, um, which allows for a bigger drawbar to come through the, uh, the spindle. Um, basically, I'm going to put four flats on here using this uh, dividing head. Uh, I might end up supporting it with the tailstock, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, it is reasonably rigid, is that? Um, so I'll mount everything up and set the whole machine up and then I'll start recording. Okay, I'll just give you a quick intro in how to operate a dividing head. You start off with a fraction. Um, it's a 40 to 1 worm gear ratio, so you start off with 40 over however many divisions that you want um, your workpiece divided into. Uh, this example I've got uh, 7 divisions, just as an odd number to make it a little bit more complicated to work out, because the, the dividing that I'm actually going to be doing is only 4, uh, four flats on the, uh, the drawbar, so it, it's not as complicated, isn't that? Um, so you start off with 40 over 7. That le that uh, reduces down to 5 and 5 sevenths. So that's 5 full turns and 5 sevenths of a turn, which equals 5 full turns plus 5 holes in a 7 hole plate. Now if you haven't got a 7 hole plate, which most dividing heads don't have, you can double that up and double that up, which so therefore it then comes down to 5 full turns and 10 holes in a 14 hole plate as it says there. Uh, if you haven't got a 14 hole plate you can um, multiply it again which equals 5 full turns and 15 holes in a 21 hole plate. If you haven't got a 21 hole plate you keep on going up. Um, these are your plates on the dividing head. As you can see you've got numbers. I don't know whether you can I can make it out with the camera. You've actually got numbers there. You've got 21, 23, 27, 29, 31 and 33 at the top. Um, the, these dividing heads do come with three sets of plates. Um, and you, I know for a fact that these dividing heads can do any division from 1 to 50. And then over 50, it does around about 60% of them up to 100. Um, so it does plenty of divisions. Uh, but I'm actually only going to be doing four flats, so I know I'm going to have to start. I can use any plate and any set of holes, and four divisions means, because it's a 40 to 1 gear ratio, it will have to be 10 full turns of this, which will move this one quarter of a turn, which will, which will create four flats. Um, the way I'm going to do it at the moment, I'm just going to, I've got this bit here which needs taking off, so I'm going to skim it down, um, do it four times and then check it with a spanner. I want this 21mm spanner to fit over it so I can, the spanner fits uh, reasonably nicely now. So I need to move that square section further up here, so I'll take a, a few more cuts now.
Now that just needs reducing down in size in length. Reducing down in length on the end of the thread so it doesn't bottom out. And that is the drawbar finished. Just to compare both drawbars. I've trimmed the excess off the end and chamfered it slightly, a 45 degree chamfer. Trim the excess off the end of this one as well. So now I have a 5 eighths Whitworth drawbar and an M16.